Kim Kardashian shopped for survival bunkers after a friend was robbed on Thursday's episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. The 40-year-old reality star felt incredibly anxious after friend Jonathan Chibin, 47, called to tell her he'd been stripped of a $250,000 watch at gunpoint. As the foot god cried on the phone, Kim began to revisit the trauma of her own 2016 robbery in Paris, which saw her bound, gagged and held up as $10 million worth of jewelry was stolen from her. To deal with her anxiety, she started investigating survival equipment, and recruited sister Khloe Kardashian, 36, to stay with her for a test run in a cylindrical bunker. Kim wanted to see if it was feasible for her whole family to live that way if everything really got worse, as it felt like it might during a COVID crazy year. Atlas Survival System CEO Ron Hubbard said that if, needed, he could make the Kardashians one with six or seven bedrooms, and Kim was intrigued. Each bunker was made to withstand all man-made and natural disasters, and would keep its occupants alive for years as long as they had food, water, and supplies, he added. Kim and Chloe while visiting a basic model realized the bunker option was grim and disheartening. Inside the cylindrical container they planned to sleep in, conditions were austere with low ceilings, little space, dried food, Spartan gray beds, and no TV, though there was a computer. Kim ate dried noodles out of a bag and studied law as the temperature ratcheted to 105 degrees inside, finally falling asleep in the heat. Chloe watched the minutes inch by, exercising on a thin rug and saying after three hours, I literally feel like I've been here for three days. They had arrived to alarms that frightened Chloe into dropping their food outside the bunker. Kim had wanted to mimic a real emergency, and she was all for seeing how well it would work. She was still shaken up from Foot God's call, in which he had panted heavily, cried, and said that he was freaking out. He said that he had been standing in his mom's driveway in Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey, when a man approached and asked him the time before ripping the watch off his hand. The man had put a gun to his mother's head, he told Kim, who found it all very scary, especially since they hadn't caught the man. She turned into a little bit of a hermit after her robbery, she said, noting, You think, well, what if this, and what if this, and you just want to be prepared for anything and everything. You know when you have kids, you want to save them and make sure everything is going to be okay. In the bunker's undisclosed location, she began to rethink her plan. Chloe said gently, let me ask you this, Sherlock. sitting
is a big age difference. I did have a 21-year-old girlfriend, said Scott, referring to ex Sophia Ritchie, now 22. Later, as Courtney lunched with Addison, Chloe joked that the girl was her sister's favorite person. She couldn't say that yet, Addison returned coyly. Not in front of you guys yet. Just to me. Courtney laughed uproariously with Addison about something their friend Simon had said but failed to smile when Chloe cracked a joke. She'd heard that actress Suzanne Summers lived nearby, and quipped, you should do the thigh master on the beach. I feel like that's her bat signal. When Courtney didn't react, Chloe asked her, where are you right now? I don't know, Courtney said, as Addison chirped, she's thinking about the bigger picture. It was all very off-putting to Chloe, who goggled at Courtney and Addison's dynamic. Days later, Kim warned her nephew Mason never to do something his mom had just done. She'd called Courtney to speak to her about something important, and Courtney had said she had Addison over but would call later so they could be private. As she hung up, Kim heard her tell Addison, Ugh, sorry that's my sister Kim. She's just blabbing. I've tried to get off the phone with her 10 million times for the last hour and she just won't shut up or get off the phone.